Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Eleven students at Opelousas Catholic High School were suspended after allegedly failing breathalyzer tests at school. But this is where things get interesting. The parents of the students say the readings were incorrect. News 10's Britt LaFaso tells us how they're fighting back against the school's decision. The night before these students officially became seniors, they had a turning senior party. When they came to school the next morning, a coach suspected one student of being drunk. That student's breathalyzer test caused school administrators to test more students. It resulted in the suspensions of 11 students. This afternoon, the parents of the suspended students met with school administrators. So now we're told that the children aren't even allowed to church. How do you turn a child away from a Catholic school? How do you turn a kid away from church? That's, that's just unthinkable. It's unheard of. This parent, who's chosen not to reveal their identity out of fear of retaliation, says in addition to being suspended, the students were banned from attending mass, their senior ring ceremony, and award banquets. The students were also taken off of youth ministry teams and cannot participate in a homecoming court as part of the punishment. A punishment many parents say should not have been given out. During the meeting with the school administration Monday, parents shared their concerns. We presented them with several facts several flaws, inaccuracies in their testing equipment. We've had students tested outside at certified laboratories within 30 minutes of being tested positive at school and they blew a 0, 0.000 on their breathalyzer at a certified laboratory. Yeah, we also had students that uh, observed the coach so say calibrating the machine and when he blew into the machine he blew positive so the parents say the school chose to uphold their punishment regardless of the concerns they presented about the breathalyzer testing no documentation of alcohol levels no documentations of students behaviors that warranted uh, alcohol testing no documentation of any logs that maintain proper calibration to make sure the equipment was w working properly. So this is bogus. All of this needs to be thrown out and our students, students need to be able to attend school as seniors. We did reach out to the school, but we have not yet heard back. Britt LaFasso, KOFY News 10.